Labour Party leaders of Britain a secret society, Julius Saburo and his cohort should be arrested. Former P2B campaign spokesperson Kenneth Ogonkwa speak. He described them as a gang of criminals while blaming the presidential candidates of the party in the 2023 presidential election. Mr. Peter B, for even visiting the secretariat of a party, we suggested he had engaged, he had endorsed them and all the challenges. Former spokesperson for the Labour Party's Peter B. Print, Campaign Council Kenneth Ogonko, has said it that it is time for security agencies to go in and apprehend Mr. Julius Abure and his so-called National Executive Committee members, insisting that their tenures had long expired. Okonkwo, a lawyer who spoke in an interview with Symphony, shared on YouTube on Thursday, described the purported convention Abure and his cohorts conducted in Nibu and Ambra State as a nullity, as it did not follow the procedures the law prescribed. He prescribed them as a gang of criminals while blaming the presidential candidates of a party in the 2023 general election, Mr. Peter B, for even visiting the secretariat of a party, which suggested he had endorsed them and all the shenanigans. Lamenting the roles of the party, the legendary actor asked that even as former spokesperson of a party at the presidential level, he didn't know about the purported convention until he saw a leaked letter to the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, on social media. He questioned why Abura and his cohort chose to organize a secret meeting and a call. It is a party convention where they did not want the public and even the media to cover it, yet they returned themselves as the National Working Committee, NWC, of Labour Party. They said, Abura's tenure has expired a long time ago. What is this month? If it takes this month, why did he go to organize a fake national convention and swell himself in? Which month it is again? That means he terminated his tenure before expiration. Has the Labour Party advised in any media that they are having a convention? I am, and I was a spokesperson at the presidential level, and I did not know that my party was having a convention. That must be a Vodou convention. When I saw it on social media by leak, Letter they wrote to Einek. I was the one who called them because I thought it was fake. I said, Sir, what is going on? It is Uma here to deal. They will reject them in Uma here because it is a leprosy convention. You don't accept leprosy convention. They will run to Edo, Edo will reject them, and they will run to Anambra. What is done like that? A national party for more than six million persons voted for, and they went, and the next thing we heard and saw is that they were raising their hands that they had been sworn in. Have you ever seen in any party where the whole NTNW members were returned? Nobody contested even one position. It is simply a joke and they don't even have the shame to come out to say they did convention. You wouldn't see anybody there voting the votes. Gang of criminals and you don't have shame to come out to say you did national convention. What are you going to tell to over 6 million persons that voted for you? The whole members and people wanting to come in to tell you you want to tell them that they wouldn't even have the right to choose who their leaders are and you want them to join your party, you are a joker. These people, they are clowns. Greatest joke I've ever seen in any political and then in any political party. And then you want to position yourself as a party of integrity. You don't give us you don't have. Abu and his cohort, their tenure is over. Are you calling me to support what Do you even call me to even tell me you are going to have a national convention so what will i tell people jesus christ will say on judgment day get behind me you walk of iniquity i don't know you let jealous abure and all his cohorts get behind me they are workers of iniquity i do not know them they did not even allow the journalists to come in when they were doing the so-called convention that is a secret society the executive they are now, the executive they are now in charge of is a secret society. They should be apprehended so that they will tell the world what they did in that place because party politics is supposed to be an open and transparent thing. Everybody is supposed to be there. The world is supposed to be seeing what you are doing and that is what the constitution said, internal democracy. That is what INEC would do. If INEC recognizes Abura and all those things, then know that they collected money to do it. Because they said if you don't give INEC notice, it is invalid. 
that is the law in section 82. Because Peter B, when he was talking, did not use the word, I have come to endure this person. I did not hear it. That does not mean in any way that I'm supporting that he ever put his leg there because even the body language of a leader matters. It was not right that he should even step his leg there because when you get in there and probably he went there alone, they have the right to come say anything they want. And because of that evidence that you were there, it will now be you struggling to explain yourself. What I can find out is Labour Party is actually in crisis. Labour Party is in crisis. And the thing is, was one thing I want people to know, P2B was not even built on, as in, the way we Labour Party did. They, they were not, nobody did see them before P2B entered that party. And this is not now. This is not the first time I'm hearing such news. Hmm? Me, as a person, all this while, I prefer rallying around a particular person instead of a party. In the sense that I am not going to come out and support a party, irrespective of whoever the person puts out. But I'm going to support a person of a particular party if the person characters, if the person, how am I going to say it? Character, personality, goals, and leadership, you know, skills is what you're supposed to is what we are supposed to, you know, be, is what we want, okay? If the person, character, personality, and leadership skills and goals is what, you know, is what the people want. So Labour Party is in for crisis. And the way I'm saying it, <laughs> so Labour Party go free hold their whatever to get any wish. I'm not going to be surprised if P2B is no longer a member of Labour Party by 2027 election. But that one abide all this one. I really like this cause election matter when we still the neck deep into this kind of beginning with the inside. So all I want to see is solutions to our problem. Labour Party and I get problem. In fact, at this point, I feel say almost all the whole political parties then they at each other's throat. See what's in the happen for PDP. Even for the so called APC, with the ESA Gand he'll be the chairman of a party, then it gets people with the I know that they don't come more time. But I know it's a crisis day in all parties, which is not of our pro which is none of our problem. Our challenge now and make we find a way where we say we go use bring the value of the naira back, make fuel, make income as they make it reduce. Now we get fuel now. We're not supposed to buy fuel expensive. Make gas, make it you not know, the expensive. At least if you fit, you know, if you fit uh, what's it called, bring down the price of fuel. It will affect inflation. It will also affect the cost of things. Eh? Everything concerns us now. Nobody already saw we live up as they talk. All right, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. So, so thank you for turning in to listen. And so I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.